That's the fundamental mystery of quantum mechanics, that how we describe the thing when we're not looking at it is different than what we see when we look at it. So when you're in pursuit of an understanding, a deeper understanding of, of quantum mechanics, you're thinking about people from the 1900s that are just sort of basically getting the first steps going to understand this stuff. When, when you're talking about this lack of funding and the lack of encouragement for people to pursue quantum mechanics, you strongly feel like there are answers to these questions. Yeah, th that's right. That we just need better tools and a better understanding, better equations, more time. Yeah, me and Einstein think this, right? So <laughs> Einstein is one of the secret heroes of the book because he has this reputation as someone who just couldn't quite accept quantum mechanics. Uh, the title, Something Deeply Hidden, is a quote from Einstein uh, when he was talking about when he was a kid and he had a compass, right? And he was given his first magnetic compass and he could rotate it this way and that way and it always pointed north. And you and I would go, huh, that's cool. But he was Einstein. He's like, wow, this is amazing. Why? How does it know where north is, right? And he said, there must be something deeply hidden that explains why it's doing this mysterious thing. And he felt the same way about quantum mechanics. That it, it, we, have, we gave these set of rules, which are called the Copenhagen Interpretation, of quantum mechanics. One set of rules for when you're looking at it, one set of rules for when you're not. And Einstein was like, oh, come on. Clearly, this is not the final answer to the nature of reality, right? He wanted to know God's thoughts. He's like, I want to know everything. We're not done yet. There must be more going on. And so Many Worlds is one of the proposed answers to what could be going on. It's not the only one. There's alternatives, but it's definitely my favorite. It's definitely the easiest one to, uh, to write down. Let's put it that way.